So again, back out at the Parade Company, lots is going to be going on here. All kinds of interesting tips about how to lose weight, but we're back with the Biggest Loser Detroit edition. And as I mentioned, with the help of Blue Cross Blue Shield, nearly 40,000 of you at home went to click on Detroit.com to become a contestant this year. We now know who the winners are. I guess we'll call them that until they see what they have to go through. Let's check it out and see who they are. Amanda Barker of Berkeley is a graphic web and apparel designer. She says she has the motivation to lose weight but lacks the right information. Am I supposed to run? Am I supposed to jog? Am I supposed to do an elliptical? Am I supposed to eat only peas? I don't know. Janine Wilson is a belly dancing instructor and a Detroit public school teacher. She's looking forward to being accountable to you, the viewers. The pressure is on to be healthier. People are going to be looking at me and wanting to see if I can do it. Novi's Helen Atwell can't remember a time when her weight wasn't an issue. My earliest uh, memory is it being in kindergarten and being nicknamed um, Helen the Watermelon. Now she's motivated to take control. The coach who works with me will not be disappointed, I promise you. And now for the men. Greg Trascoma from Warren takes on many roles as a father, drama professor, director, and actor. I play a lot of uh, a lot of bartenders and security guards and burly, stocky fellas. Now it's time to play a new part. I need to uh, reinvent myself and uh, reimagine my own image of myself. James Preacher has trouble sticking to healthy eating habits, even when they're working. I would get a three, four pound loss and say, hey, woohoo, go have a pizza. And finally, Monroe's Ryan Turner is starting a new career in banking. He knows losing weight is a good investment for his future. If I do win, I want to buy a really nice outfit and ask out the girl of my dreams. Well, back live at the Parade Company, you know, everybody needs an inspiration, and we hope that those contestants will help inspire all of us to stay healthy. We'll take a look. Lots going on. People are starting to arrive. Actually, people will really be here by 5 o'clock. So, Ruth, we'll throw it back to you, and we'll come back in a little while. I think by that time, the dance, the Zumba machine, uh, I don't know, all kinds of stuff is fired up. We'll be seeing in just a little bit.